your girl Kirby Smoke and I'm here to bring you a brand new video. I'm going through the list of my old ones and I'm redoing them all in a better quality and everything like that. So we, today we are going to talk about cleaning your hookah. So sorry that I have a bunch of dishes but we're in my kitchen and dishes are part of it. So I have over here, I dismantled my entire hookah so that I can go through the different steps with you guys of cleaning. So, okay, so I'm going to start from the bottom and go up. So we're going to start with the base. So mine is extra grimy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but mine's really, really dirty. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. So, there are different ways to clean your hookah. Everyone, and I literally mean everyone, has their own preference of what they like. Um, there are different things that you can use. Some people use lemon juice, baking soda, vinegar, um, different everything. My favorite way to do it is baking soda, lemon juice, and warm water. So, basically what I do, is I take my base, I take some baking soda and a spoon, I put about two to three tablespoons inside, and I shake it a little bit, get it all over the base, okay, and then I take the lemon juice. And what it does is it's going to make that volcanic reaction. Like if you were in science class and you made the volcano with the baking soda and the vinegar, it does the same thing. So I pour hmm, a little bit of this as much as I feel like I need to. And then I put my hand over the top because you're building pressure because you can hear it. So you want to build as much pressure as you can and then you can release it. I do this a couple times. I build the pressure and then let it go until until you see at the bottom it's no longer trying to fizz up. So you can already see that it's turning brown from the dirt inside. So I swirl it around a little bit. Yeah. Na, 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 na. So then I'm going to take my tap water here and toss it and I'm going to make it hot. So I'm going to fill this vase literally all the way. <laughs> well, no, I lied. Don't fill it up all the way. Fill it up just where the bell starts to taper into a different shape. I don't know what you want to call it. So next what I do, I take my palm, I place it flat on the opening. Man, mine is so dirty. Alright, so now that I've shaken it, I'm literally just going to let it sit. Hoping that mine's not too dirty this time around for it to soak the grime off. All right. So the next thing, like I said, from the bottom up, is the grommet. <laughs> um, I don't really do anything to my grommets. They're just usually just rubber, especially the one that goes into the base. I'll just maybe rinse it off. But that's pretty much it. And then we have our stem. Alright, so when I'm cleaning the stem, I try to be really careful when I do this because right here, what is this piece called? The name is escaping me. I'm sure I'll remember later. Purge valve. Haha, <laughs> see, I remembered. Alright, so inside the purge valve, there is a small metal ball 
So you want to be really careful when you open this so that you don't lose it. So I like to do it over the tray. Okay. So my purge valve ball is nasty. Nasty. I'm actually going to put this in the tray because I'm going to clean this first. You want to make sure that your purge valve is clean because seriously guys, if it gets too grimy, it won't move and you won't be able to purge your hookah and it's really frustrating and terrible. And as you can see, the top, mine's really nasty. I'm really sorry guys. <laughs> so, what I like to do is I like to do a combination of hot water and lemon juice. I don't really do the whole baking soda experience with the stem just because you can't really get the baking soda to go down without it coming out of the other ends. So um, you can do it that way, but I don't because you can't also build the pressure you need for it to clean inside. Something that's really helpful that you should get is a stem brush. I had one and we recently moved into our house and I haven't really unpacked all my things. So it's quite possible that my stem brush is somewhere in the house. But um, a stem brush, it has like metal bristles and you push it down and you just kind of pull it back and forth or whatever to obviously clean the inside of your stem. But I'm going to show you how I do that with paper towels. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put the water on warm. I'm actually going to get Q-tips for this. So I'm going to run a Q-tip under hot water and I'm just going to take it and put it on the purge valve and just kind of wiggle it around. You're going to see how gross this gets. And a lot of people that I've talked to don't remember to clean this part. So, yeah, it's pretty gross. Huh? of the purge valve. So the cover isn't that bad, but it's still pretty dirty and gross. So, the final rinse. Okay. So, with the, the ball, because I'm going to put it back together in a little bit, but I like it to dry. I'm going to take a little bit of baking soda, put it right in my hand, and I'm going to take the lemon juice, just put a little bit in. And then I take the ball and I roll it on my palm. <laughs> And then it's a lot cleaner than when I started. <laughs> you can take like a paper towel and roll it around in there for extra abrasion, but I don't really care. <laughs> so now that we're, we have the purge valve taken apart and cleaned out, I'm going to pour a little bit of the lemon juice into the hose port. Now this is actually going to trickle out of the hose port holes. I don't know if that's what people call them. But uh, I just like to do that because it gives it, you know, a nice clean feel to me. Alright. So, the top of my stem is pretty gunky and wakey wakey. This is something I learned when I worked at a hookah lounge. Um, the stems wouldn't actually fit in the sink. So what you have to do is you tilt, you put it at the longest point you can, push back the um, spout, faucet spout, and you take your hand and kind of curve it. That way you're helping the water flow into the hookah stem. And if you do it right, you'll see it come out of the other end. I do warm water. And I do some lemon juice, which actually came out a lot faster than I wanted it to. Shake, 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 shake. 
cheek. Alright. Now, I'm going to take the tray. Again, baking soda, but this time I like put a little bit in and spread it on the tray. Depending on if you have like a layer of grime on your tray, um, you can let it sit for a little while. I take my hand and I scrub. Nice and clean. Alright, so we've cleaned the base, we've cleaned the stem, the purge valve, the tray. I'm going to clean my top grommet that holds the uh, bowl on the top. I just run it under hot water. Well, warm water, so it's too hot. The last thing to clean is our bowl. <laughs> and I left my bowl to clean. So, what I do is I loosen the foil enough so that I can get it off, and I push down on the foil, okay? So it's like that. I take my fingers, and I twist. As I'm doing this, I'm going upside down, and you should have a perfectly formed circle of shisha. That's how I get mine out the easiest. That's just me. Alright, baking soda again. <laughs>